I bought a UEV 490 camper, teardrop camper. I don't know what you'd classify this thing as. This is sort of a test to see if I want to rely on the rooftop tent for certain trips that are more gnarly and then have something like this for like lake trips and stuff like that because it's not always going to be a gnarly trip. Sometimes it's mostly paved ways and then you're on dirt roads. So something like this is gonna be awesome to have. So I wanted to test this out and see how I liked it. It'll give us the ability to drop our camp off, have a place to set up, go mess around. For other trips, I'll still have the Alu cab and those will be the more aggressive trips. But I am toying with the idea of getting another vehicle. So this is gonna teach me if I like having a trailer. This doesn't have a heater. It's got a broken roof strut. The propane box on the front is uh, the covers missing. It's got miscellaneous dents and stuff on it. It's missing like some of the bed linens because these come with full fitted uh, blankets and sheets and everything. There's other things on these campers that needs corrected. So I'm gonna spend the weekend correcting some of that stuff. And I'm just gonna basically go over this in videos and what I'm doing to improve this thing. I tend to get carried away with projects and um, this is gonna be no different. As it starts to warm up this spring, then I can get out and use this thing as much as I possibly can. So it should be pretty cool. All right, so there's a clicking you might be hearing right now. It's because I did get the heater hooked up and that's the little fuel pump. I'm gonna have to isolate that sound a little bit. Even with the fold out bed, which is a tent material, and then the roof popped, it's actually holding heat pretty well right now. I'm waiting for a duct for my heater in one of these A pillars. That's gonna be, it's gonna look pretty nice. It's gonna be a tight fit. Small things that have been neglected on this thing, which it's still in really good shape, but it's got a few, uh, a few items that need a little bit of attention. So I'm working on all that stuff. I remember seeing the UEV 490s a long time ago in videos is probably 2014, 2015. One of the coolest things I'd ever seen. And at the time they didn't even sell them here. And at the time I couldn't afford one new and I still can't afford one new. I'm really confident I found the best deal on a Conqueror in the country. Just a few of these little upgrades I'm doing to this, having the heat system in here um, is immediately making my resale value go up if I decide I don't like a camper. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. It's a fun project, it's something to build on. I'm gonna replace the awning with a Bundu tech like the newer Conquerors come with. The guy I bought this from didn't winterize it correctly, so the water heater, it cracked internally. So there's another one of those coming, so I'll have a brand new water heater, which will be nice. This thing holds like 34, 35 gallons of water. One of the lights over one of the doors is messed up. Right here, under the front bed portion, is access to the refrigerator so you can get to it while you're inside the camper if you got it closed up but uh, these have an issue where the cord gets kinked and it's been cut before so what i did is i ordered a cable track and if you install a refrigerator in the back of your suv or in any sort of a slide out system i highly recommend one of these it'll get rid of your issue uh, that you're going to have and that's always having to worry about that cable so what these do is this is like a cable carrier. These are made for like CNC equipment, but you put your cable in there and it'll keep it straight. So anyway, I'm gonna put one of these on here. It's amazing with the camper of how expensive these things were brand new. Some of the little things are unacceptable in my opinion. There's very easy ways like these cable carriers, for instance, are $10 and uh, this would solve the problem. And I, and I know that I've read on the forums that other people have the same issue. So surprising to me, but I like tinkering with things. So I'm improving this before I have any problems. So I put the heater in the front box of this and it did take up a, a decent amount of the space. I'm still waiting on the actual tank to come in. I got like a two and a half gallon tank. So in the instances that I do have the heating system and I'm using it, it will work for days on end and I won't have to be concerned about it. Tore apart the electrical panel and took all this stuff apart. Now I have my heater control mounted right here, which is pretty nice on this control system. And then this will eventually have a bunch of USB ports and 12 volt ports so I can charge everything. This camper is really bizarre to me because I can't find 12 volt ports on it anywhere. I've looked everywhere. Maybe I haven't looked hard enough but I can't find just like a cigarette lighter port anywhere on this thing. It's got an inverter, but the inverter of course is inefficient. You don't wanna run those if, if you don't have to. Uh, I like that the options here, but for the most part on a 12 volt system, you wanna run everything 12 volts if you can. It's way more efficient. Dragging a trailer along and not being able to actually stand 
or sit upright in it, in my opinion, is it's not worth it to me. Like I've seen the traditional teardrops are way lighter than this. It's like a bed on wheels. Maybe that works for some people, but um, this is kind of a trailer that's just big enough to where I can get out of the elements if I need to, or if it's cold that night or something like that, we can come in here and hang out. And on the flip side, it's got an outdoor kitchen. It's got an outdoor living area. Everything's designed to still hang out outside, which is what we'll primarily do but having the space is awesome and this is going to extend my seasons so my next choice was building a truck bed camper which to have all the features of something like this you're gonna be way way over payload and so to have hot water a bigger refrigerator this is perfect for longer trips just being able to be out on the road more and more something like this is making more and more sense I think this is gonna be awesome for a lot of our situation I can lock stuff up and we can leave camp, go somewhere, and then if we are at an actual campground, this will block out the sound a little bit better than the tent will. And if you're gonna be at a plug-in site, which sometimes we end up at anyway because you're traveling and that's just the way it works, if you gotta be stuck somewhere like that, it's perfect. This is such an interesting camper, whether you own one or not, it should be pretty interesting to see how much this thing develops. I'm gonna keep up on the updates on this thing and the upgrades on this thing. It should be pretty cool, and I should be able to get it out into the wild here pretty quick. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. It helps the channel out tremendously. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys in the loop of what's going on.